let's just have a good time out here today. Close to 100 runners and walkers signed up for the annual Michael D. Johnson 5K Run and Walk Saturday morning in downtown Jackson. I represent Angie as the uh, Grand Marshal of the Michael D. Johnson Foundation Walk. Uh, just coming out today, looking to have a good time and in remembrance of Mike, do some good things for a uh, scholarship for kids that's coming up, coming through school. Amen. Amen. Right. The annual event is held in memory of former Murrah High School basketball and baseball star Michael Johnson, who was killed in 2005 by a drunk driver at the very intersection where the race was being held. A scholarship in Michael's memory was awarded to a Murrah High School student as another way of keeping his memory alive. I basically received that scholarship by being an outstanding student at Murrah High School, resembling Mike's uh, legacy that he carried at home. Murray High School and his greatness as an athlete. Everyone is set. Go! The race got underway shortly after 8 o'clock Saturday morning with runners from all across the metro being the first to go. They were followed by the walkers from the tallest to the smallest to the most innovative. Okay. Do you guys make good grades or city class and look out the window? Uh, we make good grades. I make good grades. <laughs> Did she see us talking? Jeremy Branch was the first to cross the finish line at a time of 15 minutes and 41 seconds, with Mary Michael Lindsay close behind as the first female runner to cross the line. How special is this for you to, to win this race in honor of your friend? Oh, it's absolutely. I mean, I can't even put it into words. Uh, he really taught me tenacity. He taught me how to, you know, have perseverance on the court, hard work. You know, this is what we always just, you know, uh, push out of each other. Well, I think it's a really great cause. You know, I love that it's in downtown Jackson. It's supporting, you know, a, a, a local um, high school community. And it was, you know, a tragic event. And we're just trying to keep awareness going.